now that we have the animated list working well, we'll update the word tile UI. So we'll go to themes. We can use the list tile theme and then the list tile theme data class. So we'll set the tile color. Let's set that to the constant red we created. Let's set the tile text. So we'll set that to white. Let's also set the icon to white. And let's also round the borders. So use the shape property, rounded rectangle border, border radius, border radius, circular, and we'll pass in the constant. So circular border radius. We'll also add a slight border. So using the border side class, set the color as white and we'll set the width as two. Let's do a hot restart so those changes can feed through. Insert cards. Okay, so that looks a lot better. And let's also put some padding in between the tiles. So in word tile, so let's wrap the list tile in padding. We'll use from, so the left and right, let's put eight. And the top and bottom, we'll put three. Okay, so that looks a lot better. Let's now show the image on the left hand side, the Chinese and also an icon button so we can play text to speech. So first of all, let's show the image for every word. So we can use the leading property, then image dot asset and then put in the path. So this will be assets, images, and each word is passed into this widget already. So word dot English and dot PNG. Okay, cool. So we have the images there, but the alignment looks quite messy. So to fix that, we'll put this inside a size box and we'll put 50 for the width. And we'll also put a bit of padding around the image. Okay, so that looks quite good. Then under this, let's also display the Chinese and Pinyin. So on the text, we'll put this in a column and we'll change to the character and the Pinyin. And we'll put the alignment, the cross alignment, cross axis alignment and have that start. So that's on the left hand side. Okay. Let's now add an audio icon on the right hand side so we can play text to speech when the user taps that icon. So we've already set up a text to speech button, so let's reuse that. So in flashcards page, we have a TTS button. Firstly, let's move this to the app folder because we'll be using this in a couple of pages. Now in the TTS button, now this runs based off flashcards notifier, but in this case, we want to tap an icon. So what we could do is just pass in the word to this widget instead of using consumer. So up here, we'll pass in the word to this widget. So we'll create a variable word, import, then we can just replace with widget because we're accessing it down here in the state class dot character. So that's the word we pass in. We can remove consumer because we're not using it anymore. And also we've set the icon size as 50, but that will be too big in this example. So we'll decrease that size. So we'll create another variable icon size and we'll put in icon size and we'll set that as a default value of 50 unless we pass in a different value. And we'll just remove these import statements. So down here, we can then update this using widget dot icon size. Okay, so next is we just need to update the card display and flashcards page. And because we already have consumer set up, we can just pass in the word. All right, now we can go to word tile and set that up. So we want this on the right hand side, so we'll be using trailing. Firstly, wrap 
the current icon button, which displays the clear icon, and we'll put in TTS button. Now TTS button is in an expanded, so we'll also wrap the icon button in an expanded, and we'll also wrap the row in a size box, so we don't get an overflow error with the layout. And we'll put in 80 for the width, and we've got word automatically passed in to the TTS button, so that comes from the word we pass into this widget. And icon size, let's set that at 25. Okay, cool. So let's test this. Lao Hu. Cool. Tiger. Lao Hu. Qi Miao. Okay, great. So this is working. Now, if we clear cards and insert cards, we do have one issue, and the TTS button is actually mucking up the animation. So we need to fix that. So luckily, we can get around that. We press Control B, jump back to the TTS button. So the animation seems to be affected by set up TTS. So we, what we could do is just run this after a small delay, 500 milliseconds, so this won't matter at all. Control Alt L. Okay, so now if we rerun this, clear cards, insert cards. Okay, cool, so that's fixed that little problem and this is working well. So what we'll do next up is we'll let the user customize these cards so they can change what is actually displayed with the click of a button.